Hi everybody and welcome to the Art of Procurement Podcast. I'm Philip Heidson. And I'm Kelly Barner. And all through November, we're celebrating five years of the Art of Procurement Podcast. And to celebrate, we're answering some of the most frequently asked questions that we have received from listeners since the podcast began with a daily five-minute show. So the question we're going to cover today is, how do you connect procurement performance with company growth? We did a survey for Mastermind Live last month, and I actually talked about it last week in one of the podcasts on the objectives of CPOs heading into 2021. And uh, the number two objective there was company growth. But how as procurement can we actually impact growth? And it's been an age-old question, I think, something we've talked about a lot as a profession, but we've struggled, in my experience, to actually address. Now, the most obvious Uh, ways and frankly what I see the most is that we help our companies buy the materials the products the services they actually need to grow you know the infrastructure we help put in place the infrastructure for growth and secondly that the cost savings that we create are actually reinvested back into the business whether it be an increased R&D budget or a marketing budget or to enable the hiring of more employees those are kind of the traditional ways that we support growth but how do you go beyond that Well, first of all, have a conversation with your head of sales or head of marketing. Why do your customers buy from you over your competition? And secondly, what are the objections that your sales and your marketing teams actually hear and what they must overcome to get the sale? Now, if it's price, then here the cost savings you may already be driving is key. But what if it's because your products and services are seen as being more innovative or that you're always first to market with new innovations? Perhaps it's because diversity or sustainability is particularly important and your company lives those goals with its actions. Maybe it's your company's commitment to customer service. Or perhaps it's because your customers think that you do a better job of protecting them against risks than your competitors. By understanding this is actually going to give you a better understanding of how your actions can actually help your sales and marketing teams grow the top line in a way that goes beyond the traditional cost savings to reduce prices or um, for the reinvestment of cost savings into growth. And I'm going to leave with an example just to kind of demonstrate the point. I recently talked to the CPO of a telecommunications firm, and one of the primary factors of their customers in buying is actually in how the telco firm manages risk. So the CPO invested in technology that helps procurement proactively monitor supply chain and supplier related risks across the world and go not just tier one, but tier two and tier three suppliers. Then they provided access to the app based dashboard that actually shows all the risks in real time and the monitoring that happens in real time. They shared that with the sales team so that in real time, just by showing a prospective customer this app, they can actually show the level of risk monitoring that goes on. Now, they found this to be a really effective way of actually overcoming this objection and positioning themselves um, against their competition in the sales process, which is leading to more deals. So things like this, you know, the ways that you can support growth, they might not be obvious, but they do go beyond the traditional, you know, the cost savings for reinvestment uh, and helping uh, buy the product, service, materials, whatever it may be to um, support the infrastructure, the building of an infrastructure for growth. But once you find what they are, you're going to become even more impactful for your business. I want to thank you for listening to today's podcast. All the podcasts in this series can be found at artofprocurement.com slash five years. That's the number five. That's artofprocurement.com slash five years.